I'm Chantal and this is Prodigy Part 2. So the second day was us visiting the manufacturing facility in Prangy. We got shown around the factory and we also had a really good talk from the head scientist there, Pierre, um, about the Bicross technology that Allegan have um, pioneered, if you like. It was really um, top secret though as well, wasn't it? You had yeah. cameras in there, no photos. Um, and while, whilst we were there, what I found really interesting was he was working on a new product, which oh, he yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, secret. wouldn't discuss with, with anybody. But um, it was interesting to know that the their premium range, the Bicross range, when we were speaking to them about that, they said that took about 10 years before it was actually rolled out because of the testing. And they said it, it's years away yet before they even get the one that they were working on rolled out. And that fascinated me because of all the tests and how strict they are, what they have to go through before they're confident enough to roll it out. So that was good. Yeah, and um, we got to go into the actual research facility where we looked at the different fillers under a microscope to see the differences in the viscosity in the different dermal fillers. Um, we got to meet the guy who invented the actual syringe. Um, oh yeah, that was, that was interesting. He was so passionate yeah, he was. as well. Um, and he was like the happiest guy in the world that he had come up with this amazing syringe. He listened to what the doctors wanted because a lot of them were saying at the end of a really hard day their hands would be really tired so he adapted the syringes to well, to be kinder, really. Yeah, and we saw them, uh, when we saw them behind that glass, and that was oh, really yeah. amazing, because they had like a mask on, hoods, full, full lab suits on, like these things over the shoes. It, it was really good, wasn't it? Like, proper little, it reminded me a little bit of Despicable Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. I, I, it was really, really good. I loved it. I love that we got to um, don some white coats. Oh, yeah. White coats and goggles, and kind of stroll around thinking that we were really important. <laughs> pictures to follow, we have the pictures. <laughs> Um, also, as well, which uh, was pretty amazing, was they, they spend literally 10 minutes inspecting every single syringe before it goes out mm. um, to make sure there's no particles in there or anything. Um, that way they've got uh, zero complaints and they never have anything returned. They're really, really good. Yeah. Um, I love that um, for the raw material to actually be changed into dermal fillers that you actually get in a, in a packet, the whole process takes 20 days to go from uh, raw material to actual hyaluronic acid gel. So that was incredible to learn. It's such um, a really intense process. So yeah, overall it was, it was good, really interesting. So Dan asked us how swanky the hotel was. What would you say? <laughs> um, it was um, more like a upscale travel lodge. So yeah, the food, food was good. Food so was yeah, good. It was the, good. View, the view was nice. Oh, the view was amazing. So bed, bed was comfy. Hmm. Was there a free bar? Yeah. Yeah, there was a free there bar. Was definitely a free bar. <laughs> I want to say thanks to Allegan. Um, Allegan is available around the world in 90 countries and yet yeah, we were the third group ever to be able to have access to the facility and actually be allowed in to have a look at how it's made. Um, so that was really exciting. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much.